All right, the sun is approaching right now, clearly uh, visible right there. I'm going to zoom in on that as best I can. We've got a lot of photos and video of the sun appearing from this uh, vantage point. I'm going to flip around. Do you, uh, do you know and believe the truth? <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, that's the moon up there too. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's um, let's pan our, around and show you the x-axis with no curvature and the uh, the moon high in the sky there. That's zoomed in with an iPhone 10 all the way about six uh, six times. That's how that works. I have to flip the camera around to to get this uh, like that. Uh, one of the reasons why I I have a YouTube video uh, with the same title, I'll be linking it together with this um, this video as well. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that to show you a little bit better with the Nikon P900. Uh, no filter on the P900. That's just uh, that's just the camera stock. Wow, that's gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down for a moment. Take some shots. Do you know and believe the truth? How will you know the truth when you encounter it? How will you know when somebody's lying to you? Well, ultimately, I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And um, one of the things I want to do is go ahead as best I can and show you uh, Eternal Perspective, the YouTube logo. I've been getting uh, more views and activity on my channel as a result of that and putting my phone number in comments that's my one of my workarounds the uh, that I can't post a link typically in most YouTube videos they the artificial intelligence will let me think that it's there and uh, and nobody is able to see it so I believe clearly um, I can see that there's uh, the shape of the moon is not a sphere it's kind of like tumbling through the it, well it's uh it's a very sophisticated uh celestial timepiece okay so this narration is going to both a youtube video and a facebook broadcast live right now this is the point in cherry grove south carolina obviously right after sunrise and I will be linking this with uh, some of my other uh, sunrise videos and the sun in the clouds video that um, shows a very interesting appearance of the sun apparently in the clouds how does that work well it works just the way God intended it to uh, the flat earth model I believe in is the biblical one the biblical account of creation. Yeah, you can deal with that, whether you like it or not. Scroll on by. I encourage everybody to hear, share, and of course, obey God's word, which means to be born again. You can call me stupid or whatever you want, or unfriend or block me, divorce me, not invite me to your parties, not call me. Oh, well. Uh, the important thing is knowing the truth the truth about the need to be born again and to make sure that that's actually happened for you that's the big deal are, are you actually born again uh, do you believe do you believe you are well I did for over 30 years I believed I was born again well then 
Why in the world was I still an active alcoholic and drug addict? What's up with that? Yeah, but I worked at a Christian ministry. We homeschooled our children. We took great family photos. It looked wonderful. Yeah, well, all I had was the flesh to try and overcome the, the temptation of the flesh, the devil, and, and all of that. So this is actually a really spectacular example of, of the uh, sun once again appearing to be in the midst of clouds. It typically happens when the sun is low on the horizon. Uh, we can use terms like atmospheric lensing and, oh, that's, a, that's an amusing illusion. Uh, call it whatever you want. I, I call it the, the power, the wonder and majesty of creation. So I'm not using any um, lens filter right now on the camera itself. I'm simply utilizing the atmosphere, the moisture in the air. Uh, the temperature is about 77 degrees. The wind is coming directly from the, the view of the sun that we're looking at right now. For those of you on the that just joined the Facebook broadcast, this will be converted to a YouTube broadcast and I've also got the P900 uh, zoomed really tight in on the on the view of this including the moon as well so that you'll be able to see it later if you like to. I'll link it to the Facebook broadcast too. On the Infinite Earth post that's been shared over 10,000 times of the Sun in the Clouds video that's on my liked video playlist, you can look at that if you care to. I've got a lot of friends that came from that. Uh, what I would do is uh, go over to that post that's been viewed um, over 600,000 times in its various forms. On my YouTube channel, I've got less than 2,000 views that people made of it. Uh, and what's interesting about that, when I would have somebody unfriend me, I would just go over to that post or uh, one of the other ones where people liked my photo album and send out friend requests. Oh, but I don't know them personally. Well, anybody that's willing to uh, like, uh, like a video that's going to let people know they're not going along with the official lie, they're my kind of people. So... That's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm looking for, and yet I understand that uh, God's grace is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. So, like I, I say, ultimately Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and it's going to require, uh, believing that is going to require um, the Holy Spirit to, to accomplish that to do in and through us what we can't do in our in our human nature only. So the me that I was actually died, as best I can tell, on uh, Reformation Day of 2014. And so now this is the new man. Some, some hate the new man. Some love the new man. Oh well. I, you know what? I didn't decide who my parents would be. I certainly didn't decide to um, become a child of God. He decided that for me and all of his children actually before the foundation of the world. That's when our names were put in the Lamb's Book of Life. So on my more recent uh, post, on uh, YouTube, I moved a video to the top of the list or close to it, uh, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. You may want to listen to that. Basically, it talks about how the shadow government of the world and Satan's children, basically, and the fallen angels work in concert under God's sovereign will to uh, perpetuate the uh, and perpetrate on humanity what we're looking at in our world today. 
people being distracted with air, uh, issues of little to no significance and uh, immersed in a, in a fabrication, in a dream world that's not real. So I, I would say that this is real, uh, as best I can tell. I feel the breeze, I see what I see, and I also am, am sharing with you that I'm a, cha I'm, I'm a changed individual. I'm not the man that I was. I'm a, I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. And that's actually a big deal because so many people are, are trying to do this life in their own strength like, like I was. So the, um, the water is, the undisturbed water is flat and level, covers the face of the earth. It's a sea level liquid mirror here. This is Cherry Grove, South Carolina. This time of the year, the sun appears right where we saw it today. In the winter, it'll come up way over there. You didn't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating, right? Did you? I know I didn't. I'm rock solid. That's what I, that's what I said on the YouTube video that uh, uh, Vice News put out on HBO and on Facebook. And then PewDiePie, the world's most subscribed YouTube channel in the world, made fun of me. On uh, he's got uh, he had 61 million uh, right when he did the first flat Earth, uh, make fun of flat Earthers. Now he's got over 63 million. Picked up a couple million uh, subscribers. He's uh, I believe operated by uh, Warner Brothers. So is Alex Jones. So when these purveyors of and gatekeepers of truth, not that PewDiePie purports to be. However, the, um, the, the level of satanic mind control that's inundating humanity is beyond most people's imagination. Not mine, I, um, but it's, it, period. It, the imagination that I have is basically a biblically informed conscience and the Lord helps me to see things that a lot of people are unaware of and I will um, I will share that I'm not afraid to live die or tell the truth in the context of that uh, the the deception that's being perpetrated on humanity incorporates um, technology uh, also incorporates humor comedy supposedly um, all the different programs like that uh, family guy the office seinfeld normal and uh, all of this is basically to um, normalize uh, decadent behavior i mean if the for example the the what we see on the shows like the office if that behavior were uh, conducted in the workplace that's being shown on the show uh, people would very likely lose their jobs okay uh, in the real world the one that this really is as best I can tell there's consequences for the the choices we make a lot of people chose to come out here uh, for this this fourth uh, of July weekend it's beautiful out here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. What I want to show you is, uh, okay, for example, the level uh, stream there, that little low spot in the sand, will pan up a little bit and over. Okay. Sometimes people will say, why can't we see um, uh, China from here or Europe? Well, I'm going to pan over here and show you that even with a few mile an hour breeze, the, the moisture that's on the top of the water. See how that obscures the, the view? Uh, now I'm, I'm actually, this is to my live Facebook and then YouTube uh, production or what I'm producing. I'm showing the zoomed in really tight with the um, P900.
So the moisture uh, works as a reflector. The clouds give beautiful light, lighting, diffused lighting, and, uh, and the, the water obscures our view. Uh, depending on the angle of the viewer, we can look through a glass of water. However, when we look out at the ocean or we look at the right in front of us uh, where the, the people are, are walking and that, we can't, we can't see the, um, uh, how deep that water is. However, we know when a, when a person or a puppy or a seagull is in it, uh, we have an idea of what that apparent depth actually would be. Now the x-axis that um, is the left to right, the horizon, there's no visible curvature there. Recently I posted earthcurvature.com on my photo album once again, and I matched it with a meme. Actually, it's a proclamation that the Nile River flows 4,200 uh, miles north. Well, there's a massive amount of missing curvature there. Water doesn't flow uphill. That's just the reality. That's the truth. The truth is water doesn't flow uphill. It doesn't stick to a spinning ball. And uh, that's that. Now the whole hydrologic cycle of the world is, um, is part of the reality that we're actually looking at. Uh, we see the evaporation. We see the uh, condensation and then the precipitation in all its given forms. With that in mind, that's the truth. That's the reality. I equate uh, truth as reality, the truth of the situation. Some believe that Jesus is a fairy tale, a fabrication of the new world order. Well, for many, many years, people have called him uh, the way, the truth, and the life, the Alpha and the Omega, the Creator. Uh, so the, the entity, the creator of the world that I'm talking about is the, is the author of the Bible. There's one author, and different individuals penned it. Some of them we know the identity of the, of the human um, transcriber of scripture as was moved by the Holy Spirit to uh, go ahead and put on a, on a scroll very likely with a quill uh, God's word for us to know. Now I'm leveraging and many others are uh, leveraging social media and instantaneous worldwide communications to share God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock. We can do that. Why wouldn't we? You know, that's, um, that's why I was, I was born at such a time as this, to be able to uh, do what I'm doing right now. Now a card like that can actually be uh, put, I've got it on my, uh, my cell phone as my lock screen. So if I run out of cards, well, I've got a digital picture of it. I can send it to anybody in the world that has the technology. Uh, it looks like the, the wave just rippled across the water in front of us here. I want to bring this down just a little bit. It's the water seeking its level. The tide that's coming in will reach high tide at approximately 1223, and that's going to be roughly 3.9 feet higher than it is here. Now, I believe it's going to do that. I believe in the accuracy of the Tides Near Me app that I utilize to estimate tidal activity and also the sun and the moon when it will appear and vanish from this vantage point. I've been able to confirm the accuracy of it here and I can search the uh, other locations that have tidal stations all over the world and yet I can't confirm the accuracy of them there. Just because it's accurate here 
doesn't mean it's going to be accurate everywhere. Okay, in the in the view right here for my P900 recording, we can see the the sunlight bouncing off of the glass of that building and and up into the lens. And it's originated obviously from the sun. Even though the the sand there is reasonably um, it's not as wet as it once was. Uh, we can see there's a bit of a crown there. It's not flat. It's a, it's a bit of a hump. Now, what, what happened was they pumped, uh, they, there was a beach renourishment uh, project where roughly $18 million was spent to pump up 1,000, or actually 3,000 yards of sand in 45 minutes and they did it around the clock for weeks and weeks. I've got it on my uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook. Now what I'm wanting to show you is a lot of that sand was placed all up the beach and what has happened is the tidal activity and the uh, wave activity has brought the sand down this way again just how that works. So what we can see in the view there is the um, the Sun is much like a laser beam shooting across the sand. When it's low on the horizon it it has a different effect on how it shows that. A break in the reflection can happen from a wave or a person or but typically uh, we can see it like a laser beam my God's Word Bible.com playlist has uh, videos some of which are over um, they're almost 12 hours long which shows tidal activity for quite some duration where you can see that just gonna back up a bit so you can see what's going on here with the uh, tide coming in. It's the water seeking its level. The water cycle of the world helps um, purify the the world that we live in and then the world that we live in as in our our body also is purified uh, with the uh, with the water as well. I wanted to uh, zoom all the way out Flipping the camera around is the quickest way to do that. I like to have the iconic view of the island there so that you can be aware of the location that this activity is going on. At the point in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. This is about as far north as you can go in South Carolina on the beach. Uh, the island te technically, I believe, is still in uh, South Carolina um, and you can you can get there they have horseback rides out there as well the Inlet Point Plantation does that now we've got the the lady uh, that's walking there showing the depth of the water and disturbing the reflection somewhat and then shortly after she leaves it'll settle right back out and you can test this kind of activity with your your own eyes and and tests to to see how that works and I'll uh, make videos out here uh, you can see them it it looks like people are walking downstairs like if you've ever seen somebody do that where they just get uh, it looks like they're going down well they are and they're walking away but the, their height is getting shorter and shorter based on perspective in a converse way when we look at the Sun approaching our location it apparently gets higher in the sky so I'm not claiming to know what the uh, distance of the Sun is away from uh, the earth I I don't know and there's still some mystery with it I believe the biblical account of creation and that's my flat that's my uh, my biblical creation uh, belief. So 
in the context of that, the Bible says that the earth doesn't move in a lot of locations. I believe that. I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I also believe there was a flood that Noah prepared for that covered the face of the earth to over the tops of all the mountains. Right now, apparently Mount Everest at five and a half miles or so high is the tallest point in the world. And then uh, we've got the bottom of the ocean, uh, the Marianas Trench, apparently uh, more, than, more than five miles, maybe six, seven miles deep. Uh, the deepest hole that's ever been um, acknowledged as uh, put into the earth was a borehole that's about eight miles deep. So knowing what's in the center of the earth is not knowable by us uh, going there and taking a look at it or a sample of it. So the flood that Noah prepared for, uh, God opened up the fountains of the deep. There's fountains underneath the bottom of the ocean, evidently vents that allow water movement. And, uh, and then he also opened up the floodgates of heaven simultaneously and caused it to, to rain. Um, so, for example, we don't know how tall the mountains were when the flood occurred. However, um, if that were to happen now, that's uh, over five and a half miles of additional water covering the face of the earth. That's a lot of water. Where did it go? Um, where is it now? Well, I believe we're in, uh, as best I can tell, according to what Scripture says, uh, in like a terrarium, there's a um, firmament that is like molten glass that covers the face of the earth and separates the waters from above from the waters below. There's hundreds of verses that talk about uh, the, the shape of the earth and, and how the system of this world works where the earth does not move and the sun, moon, stars do and the clouds and the wind and and the birds there's movement but it's not the earth it's everything else and of course the the people out here moving a lot of joggers uh, come out to the beach kayakers bicyclists people walking holding hands some holding cell phones others holding dog leashes sand buckets for their children uh, holding children we see all the different stages of life in the symphony of humanity that comes out here this year we're estimated to have 20 million guests we're about halfway through that tomorrow is the fourth of july there's a lot of people well we'll be uh, seeing some fireworks from this location and they'll be all happening all around okay and it should be uh, beautiful part of the I want you to consider that much of what we're given as far as our official history is a deception that's been perpetrated on humanity to evoke a response to control the masses so instead of putting um, it costs a lot of money to warehouse people in concrete and, and uh, steel, prisons. You need a lot of staff and all that. Now, the people that are in the prison of their, of their mind, their, their heart and mind are enslaved. They're basing their perspective on a false reality. They're basically in prison and uh, they're paying for their own accommodations there, their own technology. They're paying for their uh, technology to enslave them and brainwash them. They're, praying, they're paying for all of it. That's where I come in. And I believe God comes in and enters into this equation, sharing God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock, leveraging social media, exposing the uh, the truth about the reality 
that we live in and helping other people to do the same. That's why I do this. So thank you so much. I'm not cutting the Facebook broadcast off right now. I'm just picking my closing shot for the P900. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, commenting. If you like this Facebook broadcast, please uh, go to the YouTube if you like and, and uh, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. If you like, uh, get it, create a channel and create playlists to uh, further share with humanity the truth of the reality we live in. For an eternal perspective, YouTube, eternal perspective. Okay, so that's, um, now I'm, I'm done with my, um, my recording of this with this device, and I've compiled a lot, of, um, uh, a lot of imagery for people to look at through there, and that's part of, part of what I do. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the, the tripod here and show a, a few things as, as we're um, looking at this. So we can subscribe to a hundred YouTube channels in a day and then I'll get locked out. They may change that. We can have 2,000 subscriptions. When I add one more, uh, one falls off. So that's how that works. I'll subscribe to people that are hating on me and, and those that... Uh, like what I'm doing, both. So everybody is a potential uh, a person I would like to connect with. See the interruption in the light beam there just by that little bit of dry sand that was there? So now what I'm gonna do is pan directly around and just walk uh, backwards a bit and over a little. And we'll see that continually uh, come in, and that's what it'll do. Now, the, the almost four feet of water that will come in will cover all of this, all the way up to the, um, let's see, the, the, where the lady is walking right over there. You can see her. It's probably going to go another uh, 10 feet beyond her. What, what happens is the wind moves the water and so does the tide. Uh, the tidal activity is, is real. I, I don't know exactly what causes it. There could be an interaction with the, the sun and the moon and the uh, salt water. Uh, one thing uh, for sure is when uh, the temperature of water changes, its density and volume changes as well. Uh, down at my ankles, I feel cooler water than I do at my knees. And then, uh, so for example, how much does a gallon of water weigh? It uh, depends on the temperature. Because the volume changes, the volume and density changes with the temperature. It's just what it does. This water, the tide is obviously coming in now. Uh, I can see that. That's just what it's doing. Within the next uh, hour, a majority of this will be covered with water. When I first was out here and I was um, where the water gets its deepest, right in the middle there, I thought it came in maybe like a tsunami. It doesn't. It's a very gradual, uh, just the way it continually comes in. So, so gradual. And then um, this is obviously a low spot. There's other low spots over there. I can see one. And then um, right in the middle of the view, uh, where the the people walk through, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here, and we can see um, we can see some other low spots right there. So uh, that tree that's in the view right there used to be. I believe uh, one of the trees that was over on the on the edge here. What's happened is 
a lot of volume of sand has filled this area and thereby creating more um, more current in a more aggressive pace so what ends up happening is that the um, to to look at this it reduces the the path that the water flows like a floodgate on a hydroelectric dam and it's uh, eroding uh, and moving trees the buoyancy uh, gravity as were explained as an absolute ridiculous uh, deception I understand that there's differences in density and mass I believe in real true science validating what the Bible proclaims okay and so there's uh, things float on the water uh, that are that are less dense than the water wood and feathers and and birds people can float on the water well a rock is going to sink into the water it's more dense and yet when when it gets cold enough like in Wisconsin where I've lived uh, water ends up freezing and floating on top of the liquid uh, the volume of water changes you could take uh, like the highly purified water that I uh, drink is reverse osmosis carbon filtered and I like to put it in the Sun for an added uh, benefit I believe there's a benefit to that I like it I put it in glass because I don't want it leaching estrogen mimicking chemicals the truth about that is there's more than corporate greed motivating the world economic system and the control system of this world it's it's a very intricately controlled and designed system to use some of our our base um, our base level emotions the fight or fight response the creating of supposed terror events to get us all excited about blowing up innocent people in other countries when in a lot of cases it's for corporate greed and reducing the some of the population and enslaving the rest of the population making weapons of mass destruction and mass deception okay so a wave just came in here and uh, sent some ripples there and then it's gonna just settle right back out it's just what it'll do so like for example in this um, this spot right here we can see the reflection of the building I walk this way a little bit it goes away move this way and it's back um, it, even the water in our that we have in a glass or the bathtub exposes the global Y it's all scalable just imagine that the majority of the earth is covered by water and this little washboard surface uh, the low spots will all fill in I've got photos that prove that that show that uh, water flies off a tennis ball just keep that in mind or a frisbee ah, the world she's around ah, she's mostly flat a frisbee a clock a, a compass is flat except for the raised uh, surface that uh, that raises up out of the water like a like a clay seal like as scripture proclaims so I'm a biblical creationist that's very unpopular with some oh well oh well they can uh, believe whatever they can believe I'm compelled to uh, love and share the truth that's what I'm that's what I'm about that's what I that's what I want to do with um, the resources that God gave me so I'm going to disconnect my power right now and and take the um, the phone down low and show you from a little different vantage point for now So the um, just on some of the the basic things right here, we can see the water uh, shooting across the uh, the surface there, interrupted by just the little ripples there shooting across. It's what it does. I've got a 
a two foot carpenter level on my window ledge. It doesn't move. The bubble doesn't move. The world isn't moving. The technology that we have that I'm utilizing right now for this uh, worldwide broadcast that will be archived. Some people will share it. I know I will. I'll share it hundreds, maybe hundreds of times. Maybe thousands of times. Actually thousands of times because I'll include it in my liked video playlist that already has uh, thousands of links out there. We can all do that. Okay, so this is just a confirmation that the tide is coming in. It's the evidence of it. It's just what it's doing. Look at how gentle that is. And persistent. It'll just keep on coming in. That's what it'll do. The x-axis from left to right, that's the horizon, is horizontal. There is no visible curvature there. So we can't find the curve or feel the movement. Yeah. So people come from all over the world to enjoy this. It's spectacular. Uh, that's the, the silhouette, the reflection of that. Isn't that spectacular? Look at how that's shooting out there. Well, let me level that out. So I'm making some waves making some ripples in this world. I didn't know I would have millions of... Um, I didn't know millions of people were going to hear me say we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello. It's just water seeking its level. You don't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating, do you? No, none of it. We can't feel the movement. We can't find the curve. The reality is we didn't go to the moon and they're lying about so much of the world that we live in. The financial, medical, um, all the systems of the world are designed to enslave humanity into a false uh, belief system. So their, people are basing their, their eternity on a lie. Their eternal perspective is based on a lie. And as best I understand, <clears throat> God, uh, as a consequence of the insincere investigation, God will cause people to believe the lie that they apparently want to believe. Well, what about free will? Well, what about God's sovereignty? I'll, I'll lean on God's sovereignty and not the the power of my ability. My, my will is uh, in submission to His will. I'll do what He created me to do and everybody else can deal with that. Block, unfriend, divorce, uh, don't call me if you don't want to. Uh, you know, it's kind of weird with Facebook. You know, some people are just so interesting in how they relate with that. Oh, Robert doesn't believe we went to the moon and the, we're not on a globe. Time to unfriend. Ah, I'll just block them. I'll just get it all done right away. Yep. <laughs> so, so what is that like? In, uh, back, we've maybe seen uh, like Monty Python or a, a show like that in uh, old, old times. Uh, Don't kill the messenger. You know, the guy's running up to the to the enemy's camp and he's he's just the messenger he's not the but see what what happens is people want to kill the 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 message and the messenger you know make the messenger sound like a crazy person in their own mind so they can do their own thing and believe and do what they want to do oh well it's not going to end well like that for those people that hold to that 
What's kind of interesting here in the interaction with the, the waves and how they pass right through one another, for a while the surface of that kind of looks like the washboard surface here. And what, uh, what's interesting, where the water pattern, uh, you know, it's going back in and out, and then it will move the sand all around. This is different every day. So when, when God is talking to humanity and, and says that he will have um, descendants as numerous as the sand on the seashore, wow, that's a lot of descendants. How many of these puddles of water with continents rising out of and, and people are there? I don't know. There could be many more of these. I don't know. I have no way of knowing. By, by irony and paradox, it's impossible for me to know what I don't know. I don't spend much time, uh, I, don't, I don't worry about it. What I, what I have come to believe is I've had a significant change in my life when the Holy Spirit took up residence in me and gave me his new nature, he gave me a new nature, his nature, a love for the truth, a love for the truth and his Holy Spirit concurrently. That's what I believe has happened to me. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in. Let's see if I can do that. Sometimes it's kind of tough. I don't know why the problem with that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm what I'm wanting to talk about this uh, low spot right here. There's other low spots that I can see over there that are filling in, and the water that's coming in here is really coming in a lot over there. It's coming in everywhere. Every low spot that has um, a connection to that water. Now. In the water cycle of the world, of course, we've got evaporation, condensation, respiration, transpiration, perspiration. It's all happening. Well, the water is also going down into the, st into the sand and into the, the water table of the world. You know, the, the aquifers and all of that. That's all reality, too. That's the truth of that as well. So just backing up a few feet, look at what happens to the reflection, right? Dropping it down. That's like uh, the laser beam that I was talking about of the, um, the sun. And a bird overcoming the differences in density and mass uh, by exerting force on the atmosphere with a lightweight skeletal structure looking for some food. It's just the way it all works. It's the truth and the reality of the world that we live in. Wow, that was a nice big uh, little or a nice big wave that came in. Well, some some say with quite a bit of confidence that the shape of the earth doesn't matter. I I hear it doesn't affect my salvation. Well, what I what I would say are, are you sure you're actually born of the spirit if you're if you're born of the spirit like my wife Joni she insists she she is why are you so angry and bitter and unloving and unsubmissive not fruits of the spirit I'm telling on her for gosh sakes I'm I'm exposing the global why I'm going to tell on my wife and see that system of control 
wants to utilize uh, family members to control other people. So somebody that's swimming in a in a in a sea of deception, of mindless, uh, irrelevant entertainment or programming, is going to exert uh, influence on the people that are unplugged from it. So even though I'm not uh, swimming in that sea of deception of like the mindless television programming. A whole bunch of people around me are, and around you, right? For the most part. So the truth of the matter also is a, a lot of the, the people that are, are told to us, like uh, North Korea, Kim Jong-un could, could launch a, a nuclear EMP and knock out our power grid. That's what they've been telling us. Well, the reality is, best I can tell, the artificial intelligence that controls the worldwide power grid can selectively cut off the electricity, the power supply, uh, whenever it decides to. Well, only under God's sovereign control, what God allows, the God of the Bible. So that's, I believe, how that works. So. Um, three people per second basically transition into eternity. They can't, they can't fog a mirror anymore. Yeah, that's it for them. And the, the battleground is, is in the, well, it's in, it's in multiple fronts. It's, uh, it's, it's in the mind. The, the AI, the artificial intelligence, wants to neutralize threats. So all of our activity, not just digital, all of our activity is tracked, traced, data-based, and then there's a threat assessment that's put onto us and everybody else. Well, nothing is going to happen that God doesn't cause or allow. God's grace um, is, is required to love and believe the truth, and I believe to obey it as well. To obey Him, biblically, the Holy Spirit needs to be resident it's not something that we can just work up on our own. We can't, I can't just make it happen. I tried to for years and years. Could not do it. Could not get it done. It's the way it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to come to an end of myself. I see some couples taking turns, turns walking their dog and then other couples walking their dog together. Some couples holding hands, some just holding their sandals or a cell phone or whatever. We're, we're all in different stages in, in life and the truth really does matter. Yep, he's not alive anymore. Not much. We see a lot of uh, wildlife out here. It's beautiful. Um, I posted some eagles that were in some trees in Wisconsin when I was visiting there. Lakeside Park, or actually um, Kimberly Park, I believe it was, in Nina, Wisconsin. We were there about a year ago. Um, the Lord put it on my heart that uh, my dad wasn't going to see another Father's Day. It was time to go and visit him and, and our sons. And I did. I'm glad. And I, I shared the reality of how God changed me. I, I wasn't the religious hypocrite that I used to be. I was just trying to do the best that I could. 
I didn't realize all I had was my flesh to try and accomplish the impossible. Because why? Well, I did what I was told to do. Um, I confessed with my mouth. I believed in my heart. I was baptized. I repented. I cried. I was as serious as I thought I could be. And you know what? I believe God had a different testimony for me to share with humanity. And part of the dynamic is he's leveraging other people's technology, like the, the device you're watching this on right now. A lot of the, lot of the hotels now uh, don't allow Bible placement. They don't want to offend other uh, spiritual perspectives, other, other expressions of uh, worship and religion and all that. So when I can um, uh, wear a Bible.com shirt or an Eternal Perspective shirt that, and have my, my um, effort to share God's Word to the ends of the earth around the clock like this, I just will. I'll do that. This would be an example of hydrostatic pressure. It's the pressure of the ocean coming up into a little hole. It's the water seeking its level. You ever see that before? Not like that, right? Joni says, you, you can't know the shape of the world. You have to get in a spaceship and go up and take a picture of it. I'll just show you the physics and properties of water, how it actually works, and the globe is impossible. That works for me. She says, I'm deceived by Satan. I said, well, show me in the scripture where that's true. I bring it up because I know other people are dealing with it too. I talk to them. Yep, they're losing their marriage, losing their job, lost their client base. Uh, they're street people now, homeless. Uh, it's going to get a lot worse than that. People are going to lose their lives for believing the truth of the gospel, the way, the truth, and the life. It's going to cost people their lives. It, it has for years. So the conspiracies are abundant. How about Matthew 28? Matthew 28, the Roman soldiers were paid a large sum of money to tell everybody that the disciples took the body when they, the body of Jesus when they were sleeping. Well, typically Roman soldiers would have been executed for falling asleep on the job, right? We have biblical accounts of it before and after that event. Those Roman soldiers had to go on a speaking tour to tell people uh, the lie that uh, the disciples took the body. Well, you can, you can read the story in Matthew 28, or you can listen to it uh, audio on my YouTube channel, if you like. And what I've done is uh, merge the audio Bible with the iRig 2. It's like uh, less, than, less than $60 worth of uh, equipment to connect two devices so you won't hear the wind or conversations. Not the wind around here, maybe on the audio Bible. Sometimes we'll hear waves. These little fish are making waves. It's kind of hard to see them, but it's pretty, just the same. Fluid dynamics, hydrodynamics, aerodynamics, all of it. The uh, tapestry of light, humanity, the kaleidoscope of conspiracies, and the overlay of humanity that's getting sucked into it. And believing a lie. How about that?
Yeah, I like being barefoot on the beach. However, to get to my car, there's a lot of a lot of sea. It's easy to walk on the sand like this. Whoop. It's easy to walk on the sand like this when it's really soft and there's sharp shells in there and sometimes broken glass. Although that's rare, it happens too. So what we can see is the contour of the shape here. That's the truth of that. I could see it before the water filled this in and it'll just keep on coming and it's the low spot, it's, it's continually a, a little bit higher than here, and it'll just keep on going. It'll just keep on going and fill that up. See, right now water is coming out of here. We can see the current flowing, well, actually like both directions. So the water that's coming out here is the hydrostatic pressure of the water coming out of the sand and, and filling that up. So in the water table here, we have, uh, yeah, there's the clouds there, right there. In the water table here, there's a lot of sodium in the aquifers that they fill the water towers with. So it's good to have that taken out. It's also good to have the chlorine taken out. It's not healthy for the body. It's good to have the bacteria killed. Certainly don't want the sodium fluoride and neurotoxin in the body. I'm not gonna be putting sunscreen on me. That's very toxic. It crosses the blood brain, blood -brain barrier. They, uh, they want us ineffective or dead both in some cases yeah dead, dead is really ineffective <laughs> not much of a threat when we when we can't fog a mirror anymore right however there's a walking spiritually dead they're dead spiritually speaking and they don't know it what if they're uh, what if they're meditating on the beach and um they're sitting and they're humming and they're coming up with uh, a repetitive kind of om worshiping Mother Earth? No, I mean they can do that. It's not real. It's based on a lie. That's why I'm not embracing the spiritual smorgasbord that humanity is dining on. It's a lie. The, the religions of the world are, are part of the deception. So, God, God covered the face of the earth with water. It's relentless. I can't just walk out there a mile. It, it won't happen. I would start floating. I would start floating after, you know, I, I got out far enough and, and then I'd be swimming. And then I'd swim for a while and I'd get tired. If this was all, you know, if this water were 10 feet higher, I would have a hard time uh, surviving it if it came in really fast. If we look at what happened with Fukushima, uh, that water was able to move cars and houses and and a lot of people died and then we've got the Indonesia uh, tsunami and and all of that so the water is extremely powerful it seeks its level covers the face of the earth seeking its level means that undisturbed water will become flat and level one of the other properties, centrifugal force, will cause it to fly off of a, a tennis ball. So the impossibility, I hear from Joni, she says, my God's big enough to make water stick to a ball. Really. And people upside down in relationship to each other. But he ran out of love for me.
through you. Bummer that your God is like that. So I'm holding reality up to the situation. As water reflects a man's face, God's word reflects the man, meaning accurately. So when I would look in the mirror and I would come to the reality that I was not walking obediently as scripture commands, I thought, well, there's something's not right here. Why is that? And do a, do a whole bunch of people hang out together that, you know, there's a post going around, swingers using their, their okay, oh, it's a Facebook post about swingers, swingers for God's glory. Yeah, right, it's unbiblical. They're, they're having sex with people other than their, their spouse. That's not right. That's not for God's glory. That Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. How are people going to know what the truth and the reality is? Well, I believe that Scripture is true, and that's God's word, and all others are suspect. So when people come up with all kinds of weird beliefs that are unbiblical and trying to stick God's name on it, oh well, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear that for them that they believe that's okay. Oh, when you were born you had the wrong plumbing and padding. I guess that's got it you gotta change that, right? It's unbiblical. You can't change the chromosomes, the whole transgendification the transgender, <laughs> it's, it's unbiblical, and yet it's happening. It's, it's man saying to God, no thank you. Basically giving God the finger and saying, I don't want what you have. Really, it's not going to end well for them. Holding to that. As best I can tell, those are Satan's children that hold to the view of not wanting whatever God has in this life and then that'll happen for eternity as well that's how that works is they're going to get the they're going to get the the they're going to believe the lie they want to believe and they're going to have eternity to regret it do do you believe that satan regrets um rebelling against god and all the fallen angels that did the same I would think so. I would think they regret it. One of the reasons why I'll show you this and take a while to elaborate on what I'm talking about is you can scroll back and forth through the video and and see what it is that I'm saying in the reality of it, the truth of it. That washboard surface now is covered by water. And now this one, it's just continually coming in. It'll reach a level. Watch it. Here it goes. How far is it going to go? And see, we've got water coming this way and water coming this way. And when that turbulence uh, collides, it will level out. As water reflects the man's face, God's word reflects the man accurately. So the people that are all excited about Jesus going out and getting drunk and having sex where they're not supposed to, with who they're not supposed to, and, and all of that, when they're not supposed to, like out of marriage and, and all of that, well, that's unbiblical. Why, why is that happening? Well, do they have the power of the Spirit to overcome the flesh? That would be the, the question that I would have for anybody. I talk to people around the world. People call me and tell me about the struggles that they're having. And I, I say, you know what? 
I thought I was born again until I actually was. That's a very unpopular perspective to share in churches because they want to keep them coming in. Let's let's turn on the cappuccino bar, the fog machines, the cool music, the hip shoes and the sandals and and then for other people they want the ties and the very uh uh somber kind of experience for for worship well if it's void of the spirit it's void of the spirit it doesn't matter uh what the what the cadence of the music is or any of that it's either biblical or unbiblical but the the period the unbiblical evangelism that's going on that gives people the perspective that they can decide one day to become a child of god I believe is completely unbiblical. He decided before the foundation of the world who his children would be, where they would live, and when they would live, and how they would interact with humanity. I'm just one of the people that's not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. And I'm not afraid of public speaking. Some people, I've I've heard it said by many, I would they, they've done studies on it. People would rather die than go in front of an audience. That's not me. It's not that I just want to hear myself talk. I have a, a message I want to share with humanity. No matter how many of the conspiracies you figure out, you got to be born again or it doesn't matter. The great news is all God's children will absolutely be born of His Spirit. That's for sure, and that's forever. So if something isn't adding up, I would encourage you to, I I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart. It, It matters. Okay, so here's um, some of the, the water once again, just coming out of these little holes there, like that. Seek the truth, well he may be found. Eternity is a very long time to regret. It's hard to even get our mind around eternity. What does that look like? So the gospel is foolishness to those that are perishing. So it's impossible for people to believe the gospel apart from the Holy Spirit revealing the reality of the gospel, the the reality that it's true. What will you do with that information? What will you do when you find out friends and family are basing their, their belief on a lie? Oh yeah, we evolved from monkeys. We still got the monkeys. We didn't evolve from primates. I don't care how many digits you've got in your bank account or what kind of letters you have around your name or what kind of partner you get to hang out with and do stuff with. Doesn't matter what you drive, where you live, any of that. What matters is the truth. And are you basing the most important decisions of your life on reality, on the truth? Or is it the fabrication of your own wishful thinking and God giving you a consequence of your lack of sincere investigation? What's it going to be? Well, you see, I don't decide. I don't decide uh, what, what I believe God should, should or shouldn't do. I believe he knows what he's doing, and I work with him on that. I do what I believe he created me to do, and I'll just keep doing that. And everybody else can deal with their response to that. And that may sound like, oh, well, isn't that something? You're you're just going to do your own thing? No, I'm doing his thing. I'm doing the thing that he created me to do. God's Word talks about it in Ephesians, that he prepared good works in advance, for us to do. What are those? 
They're not the same for everybody, obviously. This is what I believe he created me to do. Help me to see the reality of it and the importance of it. It matters because not only does the truth matter, it's, it's also to help us look at who's perpetuating the lie. So when a supposed Christian ministry says that, it's, that the flat earth is unbiblical, I would say, show me. Show me, where, oh, Isaiah 42, God looks down on the circle of the earth. It's round, round like a frisbee, round like a compass, like the face of a compass, round like a clay seal that the continents rise out of. That, that's what scripture says. It doesn't mention the frisbee. Um, so round doesn't necessarily mean uh, spherical. How do the four corners work? How do the ends of the earth work? As far as I'm concerned, it all works just fine. Don't have a problem with any of it. They keep coming. So on a, on a day like today, oh, there's a, okay, so there's a tennis ball and a golden retriever and a lady walking him or her. The water will fly off that tennis ball. I've never seen it stick to it. When it when it hits the ground, it'll just fly off of there. It's what it does. When the tide is way out, people love to go way out as far as they can go. That's what they'll do. Here we've got a mom showing her son the, the moon. No, a, an osprey. Can I zoom in on the osprey? Let's see. I've got pictures of the osprey carrying a, a fish, probably for its last flight. Let's see, can I focus in on that? Well, the focus isn't so good there. It's kind of tough on, on some of this. Oh, look at that. Puppies having fun rolling on the ball. They roll on stinky stuff too. I don't know why. We had dogs. They would find the stinky stuff and roll in it. So there's the light beam. And uh, we'll see the interruption in it. And then when it's a little bit more consistent, Some people have never seen the tidal activity. It's absolutely fascinating. It, it wouldn't work on a ball. I mean, even just a little contour of the beach and we can see it. Obviously, here's the, the shape right there of those waves are determined by its ability to move up into this shape here. So it's all amazing. All the while the temperature is causing evaporation. In the, in today the sun came up over here and it's going to do this and drop right about back there. And the moon is right up there right now. I've got other video where where the moon is high in the sky and the sun is setting. The local sun or sun in the clouds video. Now I feel the massive amount of heat coming off of the beach there and coming down on me from there. Okay, does that work anywhere or that? Does water go upside down? Does it stick to the bottom of a ball? Is that even possible? Let alone the, the centrifugal force. Is that even possible? Of course not. It's not reality. That's not reality. Okay. Let's see. That's reality. Right there. The other reality in a little bit, I'm going to run out of power. And, uh, and if I let too much heat hit the phone, 
it's going to shut down. So what I will do is uh, add my my power cord. People say, how do you go that long? Well, I've got four of these. They're 20,000 uh, milliamps. I got them for $25 at Walmart. The, um, I got the iPhone 10 so that it's, uh, it can handle some water up to three feet below water. It can handle that amount of hydrostatic pressure on the seals that protect it. So a splash or a, or a little uh, uh, drizzle or rain, it's not going to shut it down. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Oh, doing great, thanks. Hi, how are you? Bella. What's this? That's Bella? Bella. Hi, Bella. There's nobody in those shoes, honey. <laughs> Bella. How, how old is she? She is two and a half. Hi, so Bella. Can you say hi? Oh, she's adorable. She's a good girl, usually. Nice. What a beautiful day, huh? It is. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a, a special dedicated puppy ball. It's not just a tennis ball, is it? No, it's, a, it's called a chuck it, and so it floats really well. It does. Yes. Wow, it splashes really well, too. Hey, Bella, you want your ball? Okay. Oh, now I'm going to lay down and take a rest. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe she's waiting for the ball to come to her. It, it'll happen too. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. So, you can see earlier in the broadcast and on the YouTube um, how this all has changed. I can feel the temperature differential in the water. Um, now it just swashed over. And it doesn't get tired of doing this. It'll just keep on doing it. Those clouds right there, you can see it, right? If I, if I drop this down, it's the sea level liquid mirror. So right now I'm going to go back uh, where I was over here and the water, the light beam will will come across more. Now when the when the sun is really low on the horizon imagine it's like a sense uh, like a laser beam uh, for uh, doing architecture, building design. We used to have plumb bobs and, and bubble levels and squares, and we still have those, and they still work just fine. A laser beam works really good too. And so you can see the, the way that the, the sun shoots down the flat or the irregular surface. The, the short version of this is higher is drier and lower is wetter. It's what it does all over the face of the earth. And so I don't know what mechanism they use to model the tidal activity. I don't know that the relationship between the sun and the moon are necessarily causal or coincidental because right now the sun or the moon is in the middle of the view there. I believe that's what I'm looking at, and it's up here. So if you look at a, a flat Earth model and uh, the sun and the moon are always opposite of one another, I don't believe that's reality um, because I see the distance between the, the sun and the moon changing and also the duration of visibility in relationship to one another. That's all continually changing.
It's just what it does. It's the reality of it. I'm not saying that it isn't cool to have a, a flat earth looking model. Uh, the one that was at the Flat Earth Conference, I didn't even uh, know, I don't know how accurate it is from what we can, uh, the one that was shown on display, I don't know how accurate that is with reality. So I'm not, I'm not cutting down the model of that, of what was there, I don't know how accurate it was or is. So one of the other things is not only where and when the sun appear and moon appear and vanish, it's their amount of visibility from like this vantage point today will be different than it was yesterday or it will be tomorrow. In fact, the, the variance between the visibility of the sun and the moon varies uh, approaching four hours at this location. And that's just, um, that's just the reality of that. I have no way of confirming the daylight hours in other locations. I would have to believe what somebody is telling me. You know, when I get a, a new friend from Sweden or, or Norway or Australia, um, is it real? Are they really there? I don't know. We, we know people get catfished, and um, I do. I know that that happens. There was what? Yeah, here we go. And that's part of what's creating the shape of the bottom there. That, that interplay of, of water cascading over the beach continually changes it. It's never the same. And see, we'll we'll see the irregularities of the light beam based on the uh, the the water height and the shape of the top of the water because of turbulence. It's all very reliable. I mean, it's not like freaking me out or anything. It's just what it does. And I've watched it for years. The, the water has always fascinated me. So when I walked out here earlier, it was a lot quieter than it is now. The waves are a lot closer. They're, they're breaking much nearer to where I am and the microphone that's recording it. So we've got people walking with bare feet. So we've got the footprints in the sand. And then some people walk with shoes and some people holding their sandals, some people holding their, their hands. Like I, I keep saying, it's all very, very interesting, the social dynamics, the, the interaction out here. You know, so there are people sitting, there's a, a lady sitting in a chair there, and then there's a, other people bringing their chairs and dogs out here, and right in the view we can see the reflection of the, the jogger. A different body shape quite often of those that are jogging than those that are sitting in the chair whenever I see them. You know, some of the, we're, like I've mentioned time and time again, we're expecting 20 million guests here this year. And uh, so some people I've never met before and some I see regularly. Like I see uh, Zoe out in the water there and Gilligan on the leash and Donna holding the leash. <laughs> It's good. Uh, Gilligan's uh, like a year and a half old, 
and uh, Zoe is quite the mother and typically I'll see like Zoe before I see Donna because I'm I'm looking out in the ocean and so I'll I'll see the the puppies and then the people that bring them out here this is an area where we have um, a lot of rescue dogs and then that means of course that we have a lot of dog rescuers that come out here. It's a different kind of person. I've had my friend Bill said that uh, his dog named Chloe saved his life from alcoholism. Um, I understand the therapy dog is not only to have the companion of the of the dog, it's the interaction that that dog or pet, that uh, therapy pet, animal, uh, brings. I have, um, I met a lady out here who's got a therapy monkey, a marsupial, a real, a small little, little monkey. And, uh, oh, the interaction that she gets with that is, is amazing. So that's part of the dynamic. And now that I, I see it differently, I understand it more, how it actually works. So this particular vent um, provided quite a bit of sand coming up out of it. That's why I say it's never the same. It's because that's the truth of it. It it never is. I mean, how many grains of sand are there? It's like not knowable to me. I wouldn't even lose any sleep over not knowing that. Now, I, I didn't post the shots. I was at the coastal preserve a couple miles away and there's a sandbar where the looks like the husband is standing up on some sand like this and his wife and looks like daughter holding a baby were up to uh, three feet of the stickiest, gooeyest, slipperiest or mud that I've ever seen, that I've ever been in. I was out there. I was out there in it. And um, it's kind of dangerous in that, uh, you know, you it's um it'll it'll hold you in place and uh, you can get cut and a bacteria uh infection from it hi donna so that's where the danger can be but um anyway uh so like there are areas out there where it's sandy and people can walk on it but then the decomposing biological matter that's in the very calm spots, like um, close to the edge in some areas, it's just very mucky. It's a, it's a stinky, gooey mud. It's just what it is. It's um, the marsh grass and decomposing stuff. It's the way that it works. All the, all the different textures. And there's, hi Zoe. Good girl. <laughs> Ah, oh, Gilligan's off the leash. Cool. Oh, looks like Zoe is uh, displaying the differences in density and mass there. Oh, yeah. Yep, heavier than falls. That's what it'll do. I don't think Donna saw that. She would normally pick that up. I didn't bring a bag today. <laughs> but you know what? In a little bit, that water will just move it away. See, we can uh, see the, the different um, way the light shoots across the water. And as it, as it becomes higher in the sky, it'll come across more like that. It's all pretty amazing, I think. 
Zoe chases after the fish in there. She does it pretty regularly. Now, my uh, water cross shoes will float. And they'll, they'll float away. Um, so, uh, what I'll do now, I'll just put them on. It's the easiest thing to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take us up to the car and pan on back and, and show you a little bit here of what's going on. And then uh, this will be downloaded to my computer and uploaded to YouTube. Some people will like it and others obviously won't. That's just kind of how that goes. This certainly isn't a, a popularity contest. The majority of people that I meet, either on the internet or face to face, are not. Um, they they may believe the Bible. They say they believe the Bible. They don't believe in the the biblical creation as I understand it to be a non-moving earth. Oh, Donna! Donna found it. Cool. She's coming with her uh, blue bag there to pick it up. Then there are people that believe we're, uh, we're a cosmic, godless Big Bang. Just uh, a bunch of tetrahedrons rolling around like a Jim Carrey thing. Or we've got an Eric Dubé that says Jesus never existed. Oh, well, you know, some of these people get pieces of the puzzle. Oh, 9-11 is an inside job, but Jesus is a fairy tale? All right. Well, that won't end well for you to hold to that view. Remember, atheism is only temporary. And God's Word says they, they actually do believe. They just don't want to obey. And they, they kind of trick themselves into not believing. And see, we can see the, the shape of all this. It just continues. So it just continues to come in and up. And, and yeah, it's going down into the sand and <clears throat> into the aquifers. Between, you know, from here and, the, and where we live, apparently is 20, where we live is apparently 20 feet above sea level. So when I'm looking at a road project that has a retention pond just down the street from us, that might be uh, real close to sea level. And of course, there's runoff and the water is going into the ground and, and all of that. There may be springs there. This world is a created environment. It's so obviously created. There was light before God created the sun, apparently, according to Scripture. Did you know that? There's hundreds of verses that talk about the biblical creation. So when my wife Joni says, I'm deceived by Satan, like I say, show me. She won't. She won't do a Bible study with me. She said, you're deceived, and I'm not going to have a deceived individual... Uh, try and tell me what the Bible says. Okay, you can look at it on your own, uh, on your own if you want. Um, I would encourage you to seek the truth with all your heart. So do you know and believe the truth? What is the truth about a situation? So I have been a, a psychiatric patient. I'm not embarrassed about that. That was, uh, that was brought on by drugs. That was a uh, a catalyst for uh, a nervous breakdown and then a suicide attempt in 05 was brought on by Prozac and Depakote. Yeah, so I'm not embarrassed about that. I know Mark Sargent said, uh, like when he was interviewed, I, he said I could have just got out from the mental institution. I thought it was kind of laughable because, you know, it's been, uh, oh, I think like over seven years for me, being out of a of a placement, but I have no nothing going on here that needs to be medicated. Now, on my photo album, I've got documentaries that talk about the drugging of of humanity in the food and the water, and and then uh, also with the 
the programming. Uh, so for, for example, pornography is a powerful drug addiction. Uh, there's powerful chemicals released. And how powerful are they? Well, look at the evidence of what people will do to have that experience and then what they'll, what they'll do to try and hide it. Uh, like if it's been a, you know, uh, an affair and sometimes there's, there's uh, adultery and murder, we see it. Uh, it's on the news. Well, I, I wouldn't trade the, the joy and peace and passion, purpose, and perspective that God gave me with His Holy Spirit for a little temporary uh, physical uh, enjoyment and then a, a whole bunch of misery after that. What about the fallen evangelists? What about them? How does that work? Well, I don't know that they were born again. I, I don't have a way of knowing that. It certainly isn't something that I believe Jesus would want him to do. Well, what about David um, and Bathsheba? Well, did he keep doing that? I don't think so. I don't think he was a, a, continue, a continued adulterer. Did he murder a lot of people? I, I don't know how many actually were murder. Uh, we know that he, he certainly uh, was given a new heart. Oh, oh Lord, cre create in me a clean heart. Psalm 51. Now, out here I have um, the Psalms. I broadcasted um, the, the Psalms. And you can, you can hear them and see the beauty of this. It's a particularly spectacular tapestry of clouds and lighting and reflections all, all through here. And it was over a year ago, so the beach renourishment didn't have um, have created all the contour that's here. It was really, really flat. And you can see that. You can believe me, and then you can verify what I'm saying is accurate. So what's interesting is the water is coming in here, but it's also coming in all around. It's, it's filling up the coastal preserve. Thousands of acres it's filling up right now. All along the coast. And in the intracoastal waterway it's coming in and up. When I, you know, if I didn't have uh, the tidal app, I, when I cross over the bridge I can see where the tide is on the... Um, at the marina. See, and the more current that there is, the heavier uh, shells will be moving. And then the shapes of all of that. You can see the, the tapestry of that. God uses the the water to paint the the picture the the setting we're looking at the texture the the shape of it all and then how the light reflects off of it you know a huge portion of the population of the world lives near the ocean for a reason oh here comes max He's the little puppy there. He's adorable. So a lot of these, um, oh wow, a whole bunch of dog walkers came out right now. Good morning. Hi, Max. <laughs> hey, good, good to see y'all. Hi, Max. Good boy, what a beautiful day, huh? Oh, great, great. Such a beautiful day. Hi, Lauren. I'm, I'm Robert Forsh. Hi, Robert. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, do you, um, well, I'll, I'll give you my card so you can go there if you like. Yeah. Um, Max is, was just on a, a live YouTube or Facebook. He's on there now. This is uh, Facebook, and then I'm going to put it on YouTube. So it'll be on today. You can see that if you like. Thanks. How long are you here for? Oh, Saturday. Wait, Saturday? Yeah, 
Oh, cool. Yeah, we should have some good fireworks weather for tomorrow, huh? Yeah, yeah great to see you all. Nice to meet you, Lauren. Thanks, you too. So what what digital communications and the cloud and, and all of that has done is given me a vehicle where I can communicate a lot of information to a lot of people potentially. Uh, millions, millions, maybe billions. I don't know how far it'll, it'll end up going out. Um, and I'm not the only one, obviously. There's a lot of people that apparently love the truth because um, and, and what I would say, they, I believe they love and believe the truth like I do when I talk to them, uh, like I talk to some wonderful individuals every week that concur, they agree. And then there are those that do not agree. And that's certainly their prerogative. But the, um, the idea of the interaction with the YouTube channel, oh, I can tell my phone is getting hot, the the color of the monitor is, is dimming. Uh, what I was gonna, so I'm putting it in the shade. <laughs> what, what ends up happening is that uh, the interaction out here, we'll see a lot of people taking pictures, uh, taking video uh, with family members and that. And so, like, my family isn't out here, per se, not, not my biological family. And yet I meet brothers and sisters in Christ from all over the world out here. And that's actually the, the most important family, actually. And I, I want for all my uh, biological uh, relationships, uh, my aunts and uncles and wife and sons, I, cousins I want I want all of them to be born of the Spirit and not just them I want all of humanity to be born of God's Spirit and yet I understand that's not going to happen uh, many are deceived I I don't know how many what what God's Word says that's so disturbing to hear is that in Matthew 7 21 many are going to say on that day Lord, Lord, didn't we drive out demons, work miracles, and prophesy? And Jesus says to me, away from me, you evildoers. I, I never knew you. And that's so disturbing to consider that. And yet, I, I'm doing what I believe the God who lives in and through me created me to do. I'm doing what he created me to do. And I have people tell me regularly that God used me to impact them for eternity. And I'm so grateful to have that opportunity. I was talking with uh, Rob Taylor last night, uh, and it was a wonderful conversation. And so we, we agreed on so much of what I mentioned today. I, I'm glad to hear that because I believe it's the truth. It's why would I want to believe anything but the truth? So what happened with me is when I was born of the Spirit and given a love for the truth at the same time, it doesn't mean that I'm never any longer deceived about anything. It, it just means that by and large the most important issues of life, the most important truth, has been settled as far as I can tell. The me that I was is gone, died when I was actually born of the Spirit. So I'm not the guy that I was. I'll never be that guy again. That would be an impossibility. So in, uh, in this area, now that we're walking out, and I want to comment on it, a lot of bigger shells up here, a lot of flat not, not actually flat, a little taper to it. It would need to be uh, tapered or it would be underwater right now. And the high tide line is right about where the people are walking there, right in the middle of the view. It's just how that works out. And some of the video, you know, like today is about a four-foot high tide a little afternoon, like 12.23. 
and then I have a video of se a seven foot tide yeah so like for example as I'm walking and I I see some cigarette butts here I used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day I used to smoke in the shower. Do you think I would look like this if for the last 35 years I smoked three packs a day? No way. How about um, I used to drink vodka a lot. Do you think I would look like that if this, if that was current? No way. So the reflections that I'm talking about as it relates to uh, biblical obedience has to do with... Um, well, just how we look differently based on uh, what we what we do. There there are physical ramifications of of disobedience and a selfish lifestyle. That's just how that works out. So what I want to do is thank you all for uh, for joining me for the broadcast, and uh, feel free to. Uh, like as you do and share if you like and um, subscribe if you want to and uh, feel free to call me anytime uh, I, I appreciate the public and private encouragement and for an eternal perspective uh, what I've talked about today will be on the YouTube channel eternal perspective as well as uh, on the Facebook as well so if you like what you heard here and you have comments that you put on the Facebook one, one of the reasons why I do a two-step process rather than just going only live on YouTube is I get a lot of uh, friend support and family on Facebook that will also put encouraging comments on the YouTube uh, so it's not all negative um, because it's a, it's a battle we're in. It's a battle, and one of the main weapons is would be truth and deception. Those are weapons that are utilized. So um, thank you so much for your public and private encouragement, uh, for hearing, sharing, and, of course, obeying God's word as, as you do. Uh, thank you so much.